Hi everyone, welcome to CAD Engineer. In this video, we are going to learn about graphical user interface of AutoCAD 2024. So whenever we open a software, this is the first screen it will become in front of us. So here you can see the recent drawings in two form like in list view and in the grid view. In the grid view, you can see the preview of the model that you have created. In the list view, we can see the name wise and the date wise, the model which we have created. Now, what more we have on the screen, like in this side, we can see yes, we have AutoCAD 2024. If you want to open any already saved document, you can go to open and you can open that. Otherwise, you can click on new and we can open a new file. I'll click on new and enter in the software. After entering in the software, the screen will be open. This screen will have like all the graphics will be loaded. Now here, we'll talk about from application menu at the corner you'll find this application menu from where you can take new drawings, sheet sets. You can open a drawing, drawing from AutoCAD, Web and Mobile, sheet sets, DZN and sample files. A lot of sample files like while installing we got it here you can take it or you can take it from online sample files you can save your documents or you can use save as method like you want to save in other formats or you be maybe you want to change the version you can go to imports where you can import the file into pdf dg and other formats and you can export the file like dwf dwfx and 3d dwf pdf DZN and other formats. Then you can publish the files like send to 3D print service, archive, e-transmit, email, share view and share drawings. Then we have some print options where we can do printing, plot, batch a plot, plot preview, view plot and publish details, paste setups, 3D prints and manage plotters. Then we have some options in drawing utilities like we can take drawing properties, DWG compares, units, audit status, purge and recover. Then you have options to close the drawings, current drawing, all drawings. And here we have quick access panel where we have options like new, open, save, save as, open from mobile and web, save to web and mobile, then plot, redo, undo. And we have options to switch our workspace windows like 2D to uh, drafting to 3D basing and 3D modeling or AutoCAD classics option. Then we have options like here you will find the title of the drawing, drawing one.dwg. It's a title bar. Then we have like uh, ribbon tabs. So different different ribbon tabs are available according to our requirements. We can take the tools and we can use from them. And here we have ribbon tools for like we have draw panel, modify panel, annotation, layer, blocks and properties, groups, clipboards, utilities, Actually, useful toolbar will get in home tabs. Then this is the cursor that you are seeing here that is called crosshair in AutoCAD. And here we have some options to control for 3D model like view controls and visual styles for 3D models. And this is again we have a view cuboid which is used for making 3D model and 2D things. We can click and we can switch to 3D direction like we see that we will get the Z component also when we click on any corner. Now if you want to come back to top view you can click here the home button or click on the top button or you can switch it from here by clicking top again. At the bottom we have the command area where we can type the name of command or the shortcuts and we have two working spaces in AutoCAD by default the black screen is called model space window and the layout one and layout 2 like that we having that is called paper space window. If you want to work in paper space, you can use paper space or the model spaces. And this side we have a status bar which will be showing you the cursor status. And we have some functions tools are here. Like if any of the function tool where you are not getting in the screen, you can customize the options by clicking this customize option. Once you click it, it will give you the options you can tick the options or untick the option according to requirements and here we have a navigation panel we have some zoom pan and uh, like rotating for 3d models and all we that options we have here 
So that is about the AutoCAD graphical user interface.